This is Rosco Castanato interviewing Julian David Stone at the Hollywood Heritage Museum. So now, what was the first book that you wrote? <laughs> the first book I ever wrote was called The Strange Birth, Short Life, and Sudden Death of Justice Girl, and it's a, a book about the early days of live television in the 1950s, and that was my first novel. Cool. Very nice. What was it like to do that? It was a lot of fun. Um, it was another thing like this where I did a lot of research and I got obsessed, and it's kind of in the same way that Carl Lemley Jr. in my current book, It's Alive, is sort of forgotten. People forget that there was a period of time for about 15 years where all of television was live. Video tech, video tape hadn't been invaded, invented yet, and so it's a real lost era. Cool. Very nice. Could you please talk about uh, writing the book, It's Alive, sure. as well? It, it's Alive is a fictionalized uh, story about the days leading up to the beginning of production on Frankenstein, based on true facts about the back and forth, because everybody knows that Boris Karloff started in Frankenstein. Well, that was not necessarily the, what it was going to be originally. Bela Lugosi was possibly going to originally star in it, and there was a lot of back and forth about how that decision was finally made, and at the center of it was a 23-year-old named Carl Lemley Jr. who was running Universal at the time, and he was the one who ultimately made the decision, and so I wrote a story all about that. Cool. Very nice. What projects are you currently working on? Um, I'm trying to get a novel done about the space race, the 1960s uh, Apollo program to land a, to land a man on the moon. That's uh, the cool. project I'm working on now. Cool. Very nice. What's it like to do that? Uh, a lot of fun. I love the research. I'm kind of an aficionado of the Apollo program, so just like this, I get to spend my days reading about that. So cool. it's fun. Which author would you say influenced you the most? Uh, Ray Bradbury. Ray Bradbury was my, my, my favorite author. And, and Michael Crichton. Those are my two favorites. Nice. Why would you say that they influenced you the most? Um, with Bradbury, it's the use of language. That he took a genre of science fiction that was kind of considered not art and turned it into an art by his use of language. Cool. And Crichton for writing books that you just can't put down. Cool. Very nice. And what advice would you give to aspiring authors? <laughs> Write. <laughs> oh, very nice. That's a good piece of advice. Well, thank you for allowing me to interview you. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for coming. It was great to meet you. My pleasure. It was a great event, and it was great to meet you, too. Yeah, and you have a great name. Thank you. Yeah, it's my great-grandfather's <laughs> last name, and I was named for both my great-grandparents. That's fantastic. Well, okay. there you have it. That was Ross Castanaro interviewing Julian David Stone.